this is a trick. She's really grumpy because I woke her up from her nap. Abracadabra. And whoosh, she's gone. And rule number one, don't mess with a sleepy kitty. She made it clear she did not want to be woken up. So welcome back, everybody. It's a day later. It is now July the 30th, 2023. And as explained in my previous video, but in case you didn't catch it, this is new guitar day number two. This again is an IYV IRK 300. And the reason why we have two guitars in two days is because Amazon in their infinite wisdom again will put guitars up that are available for pre-order, which I pre-ordered one four months ago. And the day they shipped it to me, they put them up again as being available for $28 less. So, knowing that Amazon has this weird policy where they will not match their own price reduction because they claim they're doing amazing things with prices and they always have the lowest prices and blah, 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 blah. But what they don't take into account is this is a guitar sold exclusively on Amazon. You can get them on eBay and Reverb too, but you have to pay the $160 shipping. So with Amazon, you're getting a guitar for free shipping, which is a great deal, but they won't lower the price. So, and they won't refund you the difference. So I decided to hedge my bets knowing how they operate, and I put an order in for another guitar that showed as pre-order, right, not available, and a half hour later I get a shipping notification. So I'm like, okay, so I guess I'm getting two guitars, which of course the more expensive one, depending on the condition of this one, the more expensive one is going to get sent back to them on their dime, and then when their bookkeepers sit around and try and figure out why they're losing money, uh, it will become clear to them. So, my first inspection, this has spritz, well, it looks like there's no plastic on the pick card on this one. So this guitar looks like it could be used, which is interesting. Yeah, it's got fingerprints on it, and which is really weird because you would think, and that's funny, this is supposedly number two, uh, yeah, well maybe there's plastic on the pick card, it's hard to tell, but there's definitely some spritz to be strings feel better on this one than they did on the other one. This one has a little character marking on it, which I sort of like, because it's wood. And anyway, it looks like a nice looking guitar, so I'm just going to let it acclimate, tune it up, and come back and give you some impressions. Um, yeah, my biggest problem with this guitar is that they're advertising a different guitar. The guitar they're advertising has sunburst on the back. This has no sunburst on the back. The guitar they're advertising has sunburst on the neck. This has no sunburst. It's just all black. Um, but this gar guitar definitely looks like either the guy at the factory just was lazy and didn't give it a, a polish before it went out because this comes off. It's not like it's... It still has plastic. It does look like it has plastic on the pick guard. So maybe it's not used... It's interesting, the guy just wrote in and what he says is absolutely true. He says that he, it looks like they just put a PRS style neck because he says the spacing um, is way different here. It's right next to the edge and up here you're really in and he said that ideally you would want to space it out a little further if that was something you wanted to do. But yeah, everything looks like it's... Uh, Okay, binding isn't quite as good 
This is not technically an F hole, but the sound hole. Uh, but yeah, I like the character in the wood. It's sort of nice. And he said that Rickenbacker's never had a sunburst finish um, like this, like a tobacco burst. So, so yeah, we'll just let this thing, we'll tune it up, let it sit. I'll play it for a while. There's a bit of a blemish there. And these things don't matter to me at this price point. There's definitely a chunk there. So, who knows, maybe I'll send this one back to you. I mean, I like this guitar, but I don't love it. It's not like a must-have guitar. So, if both of them are not up to snuff, back it goes. So, we'll be... Okay, we are back. Played the guitar for about 40 minutes. Um, it's always interesting when you're dealing with a mass-produced product, whether it's a car or a house or a guitar or anything else. Two of the identical items can have differences. And again, to my untrained ear, this guitar sounds a little brighter, a little more jangly. It could simply be because the strings on this are in better condition than the other one. I have no idea. Um, fit and finish on this guitar, not quite as good as guitar number one. Very minor things. There's a couple finish issues that only a uh, a guitar nerd like me would notice and they're in places where you can't see when you play the guitar so it renders it pretty meaningless so overall I'm very satisfied with this guitar this review will certainly be much shorter there are a couple questions I have that I have no answers to I've never dealt with toaster pickups my assumption would be that the center screw here is what raises it and lowers it this one is counter sunk down into the body, more so than the first one. This one's flush. Turning the screw right here did nothing but lift the screw out. So I need to investigate the uh, the principles of how toaster pickups work. It could be like a P90 soap bar where the screw goes right into the body and there's just foam or spring that pushes it back up as you release the screw and maybe that's what these are like and maybe the foam is crushed down or the spring is missing or who knows what but it, nothing's pushing it back up so I'll have to investigate a little bit um, yeah again I don't have really that much comments I went overboard on, on the original review too much editorializing. There will be no Amazon editorializing on this guitar. Other than to say that this guitar was scheduled to be delivered on Wednesday and it showed up on a Sunday. And the other guitar was scheduled to be delivered on Monday and it showed up on a Saturday. And normally early delivery times would be a good thing, but keep in mind if you expect something to be delivered, and you say, hey, let's go away for the weekend. Nothing's going to be delivered. And you come back and you find out it's been sitting on your front porch and it's been raining or a porch pirate got it. So delivering early, delivering late, on time's the best. Uh, first world problems. I'm not really complaining. I'm just making an observation. So, yeah, there's not much else to say about this guitar. Just for posterity because I'm sure I never will have this opportunity again. I'm going to put both of them side by side just to show that for a brief moment in time I was the proud owner of two of these guitars. And again, they are nice. I mentioned earlier a guy in an online forum pointed out that he didn't think that Rickenbacker ever did a sunburst like this, that their sunbursts were always more red and he definitely said that and again I don't know what he knows or doesn't know but that they never did all black backs and certainly these are <coughs> not the same as the Amazon online picture they show a different guitar so so there you go a moment in time to IYB IRK 300s and again, for those who fell asleep or went into a coma in the first video, the reason why I have two of these is because this one was ordered back on March 31st, and it took four months to get here. And on the day it shipped, and it was 184 bucks, and on the day it shipped, 
they suddenly pop up and say they're you can do pre order on these for one fifty two, I think. And I thought, well that's not fair. And again, Amazon and I promised I wasn't gonna ed editorialize, so I'm breaking my promise. But the Amazon has a policy where they won't match even their own price. Their philosophy is send it back and buy the one at lower price, which is like doesn't make any sense. So I didn't realize this one was going to be available, this one. I thought it was just going to go on back order. And two hours later, I get a shipping notice. So woo-woo. Uh, Saturday, I get this one. Sunday, I get, no, backwards. Saturday, I get this one. Sunday, I got this one. So it was sort of an accident, a happy accident. I'm always happy to have two guitars to compare. It's not something that I would normally do, and I wouldn't take advantage of Amazon's return policy for that. Certainly not. Um, but it just so happened that that's how it worked out. So thank you again for joining me. It is July the 30th. It is 2023. It's a Sunday afternoon. We are in the middle of summer. It's hot up here for Montana. It's brutal down south, uh, but as the days tick by, we'll get closer to autumn and hope that the heat releases us from its oppressive grip, as is known to do in summertime. But thank you very much for joining us. I don't have any... I do have one other guitar in the pipeline. It's another IYV. It's a... I guess you'd call it a Les Paul Jr. double cut in TV yellow. They only had them up for like two days. I ordered it on March 15th. I have no idea where it is, uh, so that will probably be unless something amazing and spectacular shows up in between. That will likely be the next time that I join you for another edition of New Guitar Day. So take care, stay cool, stay hydrated. Off I go. Goodbye. Just one more random thought, and that is that the first IRK that I got came with this very thin but extra padding and also the box was taped completely all around it and it had the big Made in Vietnam stickers and this box came with a much smaller little base pad and this is the newer one also had this upper full piece of foam and the one I got today had this very small piece of foam. What does it mean? I have no idea. I just thought it was worth mentioning. I always wanted to be a detective, so I have an inquiring mind. That is all.